Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing Bit Life and we're going to try something a little bit different to try and get away from this whole quarantine situation. I'm in lockdown at the moment and the entire country of Ireland is. I figured we play Bit Life and do something a bit different. So we're going to play Bit Life and we're going to go into quarantine. Uh, Wait, <laughs> we are going to do it. I want to see what a game is like when I just try and be in lockdown for the entire life of this, this poor person. All right, last name Lee and first name Lone. That's lonely. <laughs> this is getting a bit too real already. All right, where can I isolate myself best? Can I go to Greenland? That's always a good shout and play gink. Uh, unfortunately not. All right, you know what? Ireland will do. I feel like Ireland is a small enough island that we can stay safe there. And plus, I may as well just live my real life life at this point. <laughs> I was born a male in Dublin, Ireland. I was an accidental pregnancy. Well, at least they were upfront with you, lonely. <laughs> I can understand why they call you that now. Vaccination. No, no, no. Just uh, bite her. Do not get vaccinated. Oh, God damn it. It happened anyway. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid people, okay? Even though vaccinations are probably a good idea. <laughs> oh, well. I wonder how fast I can drop out of school because I feel like I need to get out of this germ factory, like, really fast. At age six, <laughs> I can't drop out of school. <laughs> Family vacation. Your maniacs refuse to go School dance. No, no, no. Not gonna happen. My happiness is at 1% because I'm not letting him do anything. And his poor looks are down at 7%. Look, that's not gonna matter. I'm gonna lock you in a box. You do have depression though, I'm afraid. And now your looks are at 0%. God damn, he must be some sort of elephant man. And now that you're in secondary school, you're thinking about participating in an extracurricular activity. What will you do? Your athleticism. It's empty. We've not done anything in our life. You were not allowed to drop out of school in Ireland. I did it! I did it. I left when I was like 16. I feel like I can never trust BitLife again now. I, I, and everything I do in my life, I trust BitLife and Wikipedia to teach me the way of the universe. All right, pick a major. What can I do inside? Just take some time off. Wait, what the hell? A quarantined friend of yours just tagged you in the Until Tomorrow Instagram challenge. They're quarantined too? What the hell is the Until Tomorrow Instagram challenge? I gotta look this up. Okay, you have to post an embarrassing picture of yourself and then delete it in a day. Well, I posted a screenshot someone took of me while I was sitting on the toilet during a work-related video conference. You don't have a job, you lying bitch. <laughs> Lonely. I see why no one likes you now. I need some money to move somewhere because I'm living with my parents right now and I don't think it's a good idea. All right, he gave me 43 euros. That's not enough to move out. <laughs> but it is enough to buy some lottery tickets. And with that money, I can move out. For the first time in my life, my parents gave me some money and I instantly blow it all on lottery tickets. <laughs> kind of under understanding why they didn't give me any up until now. Oh, yeah, that's all the money gone. Mom! 20, yes! <laughs> I just found a game-breaking glitch in this game. What the heck? Ticket cost of four. Buy a ticket. Minus one now. How did I go into minus? I can't just go up to the store, buy a lottery ticket and go, I owe you one. <laughs> and just leave. It doesn't work like that. All right, I'm gonna need a job if I'm gonna buy more lottery tickets. But I need something I can work from home. Apprentice moonshiner. That's something I could do. It's a small business I could start. Yes, Moonshine cured my depression. <laughs> That's a life lesson for you right there. I love how it says, I've been thinking a lot lately about how incense is just air seasoning. And then I am cured of depression. <laughs> Once he realized that, he was like, that's it. <laughs> That's all my questions answered. Okay, I'm still living with my parents, which is just a terrible, terrible idea. I need to go into isolation. The answer is to kill my parents, I think. There's just no other way. <laughs> Murder the father first. Oh, God damn it, he caught me. <laughs> all right, it's fine. I am an expert on escaping at this point. Come on. Come here. There you go. And out the door I go. I'm coming for you, papa. <laughs> Why does it always end in murder? <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did ya? All right, time to go back home. Push off cliff. I don't know. Wait, no, I can't take him outside. I'm supposed to be in quarantine. All right, poison them then. You tried to pour antifreeze in your father's iced tea when he wasn't looking. <laughs> Once again, I got caught. <laughs> it doesn't help that my guy just is not smart and he just doesn't understand. The poor fellow really doesn't know what he's doing. Except when it comes to escaping from prison. That's the one thing he's good at somehow. He just has a natural flair for. It. Oh my god, I cannot kill my parents. This is the worst day ever. Can we just do a feckin' drive-by or something? Perform a drive-by. I don't have a car. <laughs> All right, um, club them. Club them good. Yes, they're dead. I'm caught, but that doesn't matter. The parents must be like, why the hell does he want to kill us so bad all of a sudden? He died. Okay, great. And I've been sent back to prison, but that's okay. I can get out of here. Okay, finally, I'm on my own. <laughs> Took a while, but we got there. Uh, dog walking is in right now. I think we can do some dog walking, I guess. Now, here's the part where we win the lot. 
lottery. Then I can be one of those rich people singing Imagine to make us all feel better <laughs> in my mansion. I'm starting to think just spamming buy 10 lottery tickets is not the way I'm going to uh, succeed in this life. <laughs> I've wasted over a thousand dollars now and I am I'm not winning. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna need some sort of company. Can I get online or something? Oh, everyone I had a relationship with is dead. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I just never left my house and the only people I knew were my parents who I killed. <laughs> How about some social media? You post got zero likes. <laughs> it says they love it. <laughs> well, that's a bit deflating. I'm gonna try a dating app. Oh, no, no, no luck. <laughs> it's paired with a grandmother named Sophie Taff. She's pretty crazy and she's pretty old, but she got a lot of money. All right, now we are dating, but we can't actually physically go anywhere. I told him to compliment her. He just said, I told Sophie that she's wise. <laughs> Is that another way of saying she's old? Is that compliment enough to get married? She rejected me. Oh God, no, I'm taken into custody. Oh, for feck's sake. That was like ages ago. It was like two years ago I killed my parents. Honestly, get over it. How am I supposed to ever get closure about my parents dying if you keep bringing it back up? Oh God, I hope my girlfriend doesn't leave me. Maybe she likes it. Maybe she likes a bad boy. <laughs> she keeps rejecting my proposal. How am I supposed to get all your money if you won't marry me? <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry. We're literally pen pals. We've never met. I'm gonna gift my girlfriend slim fast shake mix. <laughs> she did not like that. Your girlfriend Sophie is arguing with you because you gave her some slim fast shake mix. Apologize. Oh god, she hates me now. This was not worth it. And she won't even give me money. Oh, it was not worth it for the meme. Your girlfriend Sophie is a friend who works at Phoenix Inc. and can get your job there. Oh no, that's not for me. I'm staying home. <laughs> I've done it for 31 years and I'll do it for 31 more if I have to. While surfing the web, you land on a clickbait website that claims to have 100 of the most outrageous photographs ever taken. What will you do? I mean, click through all 100. I have nothing better to be doing. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake, stop arresting me. They're making me leave my house for no goddamn reason. Is this essential travel? I don't think so. Oh, for feck's sake, I was only out for a year and they arrested me again. Don't you have better things to be doing than catching murderers? He's like, uh, no, of of course we don't. <laughs> Your girlfriend Sophie wants to break up. Are you serious? Attack her. You attacked her and she dodged you. Oh God, we're coming to get you, Sophie. I'm finally going to meet you. I failed. Uh, lonely, you are such a failure. Jesus Christ. Like she's 82 years old, Lonely. Like I thought she might be on equal levels of loneliness, but no, she doesn't care. She's like, I've got my whole life ahead of me, Lonely. <laughs> and I want someone who'll actually leave the house. Can I afford a hitman? Because I'm just not very good at this. 21,000. I got 1,200. Is there any way we can reach a deal? I threw a toaster into her bath and somehow she still wins the fight. <laughs> she scratched my heel and ripped my chest. What does that even mean? She didn't call the cops though. <laughs> Even though I threw a toaster into her bath. All right, catch her with a bear trap. She'll fall for that. Just put one of those mobile phones with a really big buttons down on the bear trap. The old people love them. No, nope, I got imprisoned. Okay, <sighs> strangle them. That should work. No. Jesus Christ, lonely, you're useless at everything. Like, what was the point of staying in school if they don't even teach you how to strangle people? Isn't that the whole point of school? Honestly, in schools, they need to start giving you real life skills, like being able to do your taxes, being able to murder people, stuff you need in the real world. This is the fifth time we're trying to kill this 82 year old woman. She attacked me with a belt and beat my spleen. Christ almighty. <laughs> this woman is just impossible to kill. I don't understand. You know what? At this point, I think we just let Father Time take her. <laughs> like, she can't live for that long at this point, can she? I'm 37 years old and I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> Alright, time for a midlife crisis. While trimming the bush, you encounter a male escort trying to solicit you. What? Did you have to phrase it that way? <laughs> I'll just ignore him. I actually, you know what? I assault him. It's supposed to be in lockdown here. You detached his brain. Oh, Jesus Christ, now you killed someone! <laughs> really? Why couldn't you just detach Sophie's brain? If you're a Sophie watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, feck it. He's learned something now. Go on. Go get Sophie. She died. Yes. He has experience now. A pet might be good. I, I'm not leaving my house here. Uh, an exotic pet might be good. Cat. That's not exotic. A corn snake. Now that sounds cool. Oh my God. His craziness is off the chart. Yeah, buy him. I'm going to call him crazy corn because he's a corn snake and he's a little bit crazy. It's endearing really. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he got out of the house and it's taken 90 minutes to get back into the house. He made me leave my house. Or maybe I was just calling him. How do you call a snake? A snake. 
<laughs> Sounds like a sprinkler going off. Yell at him. Bad, crazy corn. Bad. What else can I do from within my house? What can I do with my snake? Oh my god. I saw a treat and I thought it was like eat him as a treat. Make some snake bacon. All right. I got a new old girlfriend. I really need some money. So if you could marry me and just die, that would be really appreciated. I can't go out and get a job. You don't understand. I don't know how to work. I only make YouTube videos. Oh, crazy corn has escaped. Oh no. <laughs> Look for him everywhere. No, wait for him to come back. We're not leaving. A cocktail server named Neob knocks on the door and is standing there with your corn steak. I'm not going out. You can keep him. <laughs> okay, the relationship is going really well. Uh, do you want to get married? Why not? <laughs> so what? I, I've killed four people and I've never left my house. <laughs> Everyone has baggage. <laughs> going to the theater? Are you mad? <laughs> do you not understand what I do? <laughs> no, I don't want jobs. Your friend has a friend. I don't have friends, so this is a scam, 100%. Look at that. I have literally no relationships except for this woman who will not marry me for some reason. Oh my god, she still wants to go to the theater. That's probably her one thing. It's like, I want to go see a movie, then I'll marry you. But it's just too far for me. I'm not doing it. Mia asked me to take her to the theater. I told her I don't have time for her. You could just give her the reason and not just say I don't have time for you. I propose to her every single year, but she never says yes. Do you think it's my looks? Should I get a surgery? I got a Botox and it was botched. That's what I get for leaving my house. The one time I leave my house in my life and they feck up my face. Will you marry me? <laughs> Aww. Could you at least give me money so I could sue them or something? You can't help me out. I know you have loads of it. I have no money for a lawyer. For feck's sake, they fecked up my face. I need to get something back. All right, I need to work from home for a bit. What type of work environment do you prefer? I like to work remotely from home. I have to say it, but I'm not going to get the job now. Yes, it worked. <laughs> okay, great. Now I just got to set up a little brewery in my basement and I can continue making moonshine. I'll take 10 grand, honestly. I just want 10 grand for you fecking up my face. That seems reasonable. Yes. Wait, I'm sure that said she threatened to kill me. <laughs> I kind of skipped past it but I think that's what it said. I'm not going back to that doctor. I'm getting it done from the other doctor. Great. I got my tummy talk. I probably should have fixed my face instead, but I kind of forgot. Okay, my looks are a bit better. Now will you marry me, please? Rejected? Are you serious? I've tried everything. <laughs> the location where you've been making moonshine is not available and you will need to find a temporary place. I guess move to the bathtub then. <laughs> Your girlfriend Mia is trying to convince you to get Botox. Anything. Yes. Not Emma Brown. She tried to kill me. More surgery, please. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Just give me money. <laughs> like, she's there, probably a feckin' millionaire, and I'm making moonshine in the bathtub, and she's, like, making me pay for the plastic surgery. Come on. Okay, my looks are 50%. I've never looked or felt better. Please marry me. <laughs> Your girlfriend passed away. She died while sleeping peacefully. Skip the feckin' funeral. Feck her. <laughs> you wouldn't marry me. I wanted your money. Everyone I know is dead. I'm starting to believe I cursed him when I gave him the name Lonely. Helping hand? No, Jesus Christ, don't volunteer with the help helping hand. It is not the time for handshaking. My health is super low for some reason. This isn't good. I'm gonna go get some more surgery so this person might actually like me and they might marry me and then I can get all their money. It's my eyelids that are a problem, isn't it? All right, no, no, it, it wasn't the eyelids. It must be the penis. That is the problem. Get the surgery. Okay, no, it actually went down. Oh, it's because it was botched. Well then, guess we have another lawsuit on our hands, don't we? <laughs> no one's gonna give me surgery anymore. Not enough evidence. Just whip it out. <laughs> Just the front of the court. <laughs> Your honor, uh, exhibit A. <laughs> Just no pants on. All right, look, I have zero happiness, zero health, and I refuse to leave the house. Will you marry me? Fuck sake. The problem is now I can't get any surgery because I've sued both people and I I don't think they're gonna do anything for me, are they? No, they refused. God damn it. I could like work on my mind and body and like go to the gym to work out and stuff, but uh, that's the hard way. I don't want that. I died, are you serious? You died while sleeping peacefully. Probably spent 90% of his life just asleep. He wasn't doing anything. The only times he left his house were to go to jail, to kill people, or to get surgery. So that's it. Oh, what a depressing life he had. Poor Lonely. Like, I didn't know he would be that lonely when I made him. I was gonna say, or I wouldn't have made him, but I guess he was an accident after all. God, that is a tragic accident. Like, you have an accident, you're like, oops. 
now we're both gonna die. <laughs> I mean, they didn't know that at the time, but the guy had murder in his eyes, you could tell. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching as always. If you have any more suggestions for BitLife, do let me know because I love playing BitLife. It's something that I was getting suggested for so long and I never did it because I was like, ah, I don't know if that'll be fun, but now I'm addicted to the bloody thing. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you watching. Stay safe, folks. The world is a strange place right now. Um, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.